Peace and black power, family. Uncle Jasaneb, it's your boy 380, Haru Bayodet, Callius Kemet, we're the first dynasty. Shout out to the squad. Today's lecture is going to be dealing with stolen titles that come out of ancient Kemet or Kanit, Egypt or Nubia. A lot of people understand that the stories are stolen from Asar and Haru, but they don't know the stories that are stolen from Tahuti. A lot of people understand these stories are stolen, but don't know that the names and titles are stolen as well. So we're going to be dealing with that today. I won't have the time to be able to go through the linguistic norms that'll show you how an M can turn into a B based off of lip placement. But if you want that lecture, we can deal with that. So get your pen and pad out right now. Take down some great notes. Cross-reference everything. Don't take anybody's word for anything. And let's get it, man. Shout out to the squad. Cali is Kemet, First Dynasty. I'm Haru Bayodet. Let's go. Abraham or Ibrahim is a stolen title of Tahuti. Tahuti's title in ancient Kemet was Ibrahui. Ip meaning judge. Rahui meaning two combatants. Judge of the two combatants, Haru and Set. Haru is the spiritual force that's operating through your cardiovascular system, whose major organ is your heart. In your spirit, his energy governs your will. Set is one of the spiritual forces operating through Mercury. Set is the spiritual force operating through your nervous system, testicles, or ovaries. In your spirit, set energy governs your desire. We've communicated with Tahuti thousands upon thousands of years under the title Ibrahui, which was corrupted by the Europeans into Ibrahim, Abraham. Ishmael is one of fictional Abraham's sons. His name comes from a title of Set in ancient Kemet. One of Set's titles was Ismai. Set took the form of a bull who was sacrificed to restore divine order. When Set takes on his form, he takes on the title Ismael, which is corrupted by the Europeans into Ismael, into Ishmael. Isaac, fictional Abraham's son. Isaac's name comes from a title of Haru. In ancient Kemet, one of Haru's titles was Hek, which means ruler. Hek was perverted to Eshek into Isaac. Abraham, Isaac, and Ishmael are all fictional characters that never existed, black or white. Abraham, Isaac, and Ishmael is the perverted knowledge of Tahuti, Haru, and Set, of the moon, sun, earth, Mercury, corrupted into fictional Europeans and fictional European tribes. Moses, or Moshe, is also stolen from a title of Tahuti. In ancient Kemet, one of Tahuti's titles was Moshe, meaning true of voice or word. Tahuti is asked by Ra, the creator, to come with him to a mountainous region, which was a distance from heaven. Ra takes the form of a god of light, and he takes on the title Aku, or Ra-Aku. Tahuti is with Ra in his light form and is instructed by Ra-Aku to write down what is in the spirit world. Ra-Aku makes Tahuti his Moksha, his chief messenger. Then Ra-Aku gives Tahuti an assistant, the god who takes the form of the sacred baboon, Anan. Anan is the spirit force in creation that gives sound to spiritual messages transmitted by Tahuti. Anan allows you to put words to what you feel internally. The knowledge of Tahuti, or Moshe, was corrupted into Moshe Moses. Anan was corrupted into Aran and Aaron. Moses goes up a mountain and talks to God. God takes the form of a burning bush, fire, or a light. God gives Moses an assistant. Moses and Aaron are fictional characters perverted by Europeans to try and falsify, receiving divine law, and to corrupt the true knowledge of the true Moshe, Tahuti, and his assistant, Anan. Moses is credited as the author of the Torah. Torah comes from Tuara, adorations of Ra. Every morning, our ancestors practiced Tuara in many forms. Tuara was corrupted into Torah. In the Medunetur, two means five. There's five books in the Torah. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, Solomon, and Sheba. I use this African imagery for these two because they were rejected as Europeans. Solomon is a fictional character whose name comes from a title of a Tsar. 
in ancient Kemet, one of Asar's titles was Hedi Met. Hedi meaning king, leader, chief. Met meaning north. Hedi Met meaning king of the north, leader of the northern territory. Asar's spirit operates through the star system of Sa, also known as Orion, through the black soil substance of the earth. In your body, the pituitary gland. The north is special to Asar. That's where he transitioned to Sekhetetet to rule as king and where he was also resurrected. His title, Hedi Met, was corrupted to Hori Met, Sholi Men, Soli Men, Solomon. Sheba is the fictional wife of Solomon, which comes from a title of Aset. In ancient Kemet, Aset had a title, Aset Sepatet. Sepatet is also known as Ceres, the constellation. Aset was given this title because she's the great provider, and Ceres, or Sepatet, transmits energy to the sun and earth. Also, in ancient Kemet, Sepatet means provider. Aset's title, Queen of Sepatet, was corrupted into Queen of Sepa, Queen of Shapa, Queen of Sheba. The union of Asar and Aset through Sepatet and Sa change positions in the sky and ultimately unite with one another. The occasion, the appearance of the star Haru Duat, also known as Asar Sa or the son of Rahit. Rahit is a title of Aset, which means the wise one. In ancient Kemet, Per or Perat means product of. Haru M. Duat was also known by Pera Rahi, which translates to offspring of or product of the wise one. Per or Pera was corrupted into Ben or Bena. Rahi was corrupted into Lehim or Leh. Pera Rahi to Bena Lahim Mena Leh Menelech, the fictional son of Solomon and Sheba. There is no Solomon. No Sheba, no Menelik, just the original Holy Trinity, Asar, Aset, and Haru, anthropomorphized David. Tahuti was also known by Tahut. Tahut was corrupted into Dawut, Dawid, David, David. The story of God making David king is stolen from the knowledge of the gods, where Ra makes Tahuti king of earth. Yahweh. Yahweh is a stolen title of Tahuti's. In ancient Kemet, the moon is called Yah. When Tahuti is operating through the moon, he has a title Yah Tahuti. Habui is the bird Tahuti is depicted as. Habui was corrupted into Habwe, into Yahweh. Yah was corrupted into Jah. Tahuti was also pronounced Jahudi, Jahu which was corrupted into Jahuda and was used by the Europeans for their fictional character, Yahuda or Judah, and the fictional Yahuda tribe or tribe of Judah. Jesus Christ is stolen from a title of Haru. In ancient Kemet, one of Haru's titles was Hensu Hedi Shesta, Het meaning child, Hensu meaning royal divine, Hensu meaning divine royal child. Hensu was corrupted into Hensus, Yeshu, Jesus. Christ comes from Hedi Shesta. The root word in Haru is Hed or Hedi, meaning chief or king. Shesta meaning which is hidden, secret or sacred. Hedi Shesta was corrupted into Hedi Shestos, Hedistos, Christos, Christ. Haru or Hensu the Hedi Shesta to Jesus the Christ. Jesus Christ never existed. It was given to us by our oppressors to make us love our enemies the way we love ourselves. The Bible. The Bible is not divinely inspired. It's not a holy book. It's perverted fragments of ancient Kemetic writings. The Bible is 1,600 years old, and ancient Kemetic writings are dating back to 20,000 years old. The Bible derives from Helios Biblios, Biblios derives from papyrus or papyrus, which is paper. Helios is the European perversion of Ra, the papers of Ra, the book of Ra. Yeshua ben Pindera. In North Kemet, a major city named Dada was sacred to Asar Aset Naru. They were referred to as Benam Dada, Hat Mahit, and Haru Pakart. Asar or Benam Dada, meaning the ram, lord of the city Dada, came to be pronounced Bandara 
or Bendera, which was corrupted to Pantara or Pandera. Asura was referred to as Pandera. Haru became Hinsu or Haru, Sa Pendera or Son of Pendera, which was corrupted into Yeshua Ben Pendera. Ben meaning son of. Mary is a stolen title from Aset. In ancient Kemet, Aset had a title, Merit Asar. When Set killed Asar and disposed of his body in the river, Aset searched tirelessly for her husband. When she finally found Asar, Aset invoked Asar's spirit through ritual, and they had a divine spiritual union, and Aset became pregnant. Because of her devotion to her husband, Asar, Aset was often called Merit Asar. Merit meaning beloved. Merit was corrupted into Mary, Miriam, or Maha Maria. Satan. Satan comes from Set or Seti. Set is known for chaos, disorder. When he killed Asar, he removed Aset from throne to start his reign of chaos and disorder. When the Hyksos invaded ancient Kemet, they removed all gods other than Set. Set or Seti was corrupted into Setta, Satan. Muhammad. Muhammad is a stolen title from the male spiritual force that operates through the great river in Kemet called the Nile. The god of the river now name is Hop or Hapi. Reset means south. Met means north. The Nile extends from the south to the north. Hop Met means Hop of the North. Hop Reset means Hop of the South. Mu means water. Mu Hop Met means the waters of the god of the northern Nile, which was corrupted from Muhammad to Muhammad. Our ancestors called upon the river gods of the Nile because it rarely rained in Kimi. Thus, the flooding of Hop became essential for vegetation. Our enemies that invaded Kemet became familiar with Muhammad and based their fictional character around the waters of the river god of the north. Muhammad did not exist. Our ancestors called upon Hop Reset and Hop Met, Muhop Met and Muhop Reset, thousands upon thousands of years before fictional Muhammad was created. A lot and a lot is stolen from Ra and Riot. Some Africans outside of Kemet call Ra La and Ra'et Laet. Ra Ur, meaning Ra the Great One, was also pronounced Ur La or La Ur. Ra'et the Great One was pronounced Ur Lat or Lat Ur. Ur La and Ur Lat was corrupted into Allah and Alat. Alat was made the daughter to make man superior. The names Ul La Ulat was corrupted into El Ela Elat and was applied to their fictional gods and angels. The plural of Ur is Aru or Arui. In ancient Kemet, Aru or Arui means the great ones. This was corrupted into Elohim, into Elohim. Islam. Islam comes from Salem, which was a corruption of Sarem, which was an ancient title of the god Hop. Sa means shrine or sanctuary of a god or a goddess. Rim means tear or moisture of the eye. The flooding of the Nile is said to be caused from the eye of Ra or Ra'et, the great spirit. Aset operating through Sapatit is referred to as the eye of Ra and is where the divine drop starts. From that starts the swelling of the Nile every year. When the star Aset Sapatit would rise in the beginning of the year, it was an indication that the flood was coming. For thousands upon thousands of years, the people of Kemet celebrated the beginning of the flood with the holy day now called Night of the Drop. The river Hop is a sanctuary, Sa, of the divine moisture or tear, Rem, Sarem, which was corrupted into Salem, Isalem, Islam. The Quran. The Quran is a series of perverted fragments of ancient Kemet writings. In ancient Kemet, Ku or Aku has been used for thousands of years. Ku meaning illumination, wisdom, divine intelligence. The ancestral spirits are called the Aku. Ku Ra, divine intelligence from the creator. Ku Ra was corrupted into Quran, Buddha. 
Buddha is stolen from Ptah. In ancient Kemet, Ptah means maker, fashioner, former. Ptah is the spirit force in creation. In your body, Ptah operates through your brain. Ptah has a title, Ptah Neb Ankh. The title means Ptah, the master of life or life master. Ptah was corrupted into Puta into Buddha. Neb Ankh was applied to Buddha, Buddha the sage, Buddha the life master. Sage is a corruption of Seisha, which means learned one, wise one, or skilled one. Seisha was a title of Pata. Nuk Pan Nuk means I am that I am. This is written all over the pyramids. It's in our writings, it's in our chants and songs, and is used to properly align or realign our spirits with our souls. Nuk Pan Nuk was corrupted into Nupanu, Nurpanu, Nirvana, Nirvana. Buddha was born of a virgin birth. His mother name is Maha Maria, a corruption of Aset Meri. Ptah's sacred city in Kemet is Hat Ptah Ka, also known as Hat Ptah Ka, House of Ptah's soul. Hat Ptah Ka, Hat Ptah Ka, Aphrodite Ka is the same landmass fundamentally with the same meanings. This is where Ptah fashioned a landmass of earth, the earthly Ka and Kaet, which was raised out of the primordial ocean. They want you to believe in the fictional Buddha, the sage, and accomplishing Nirvana through Buddha, which is just the corrupted information of Ptah Neb Ankh and Nuk Pan Nuk, Vedas. The Vedas aren't holy scriptures. Veda comes from the ancient Kemet word Ved, meaning to know. Veda is a corruption of Pata. Pata was pronounced Futta, then corrupted into Vita Veda. The Vedas are a series of perverted fragments of ancient Kemet writings, just like the Quran and Bible. Brahmin. Brahmin's a corruption of the name Per Amin. In ancient Kemet, Per means house, dwelling place, or temple, also meaning to arise from to sprout, to manifest oneself. Amun is the name of the great god along with the great goddess, Amunet, that constitutes the supreme being. Per Amun or Per Amunet means house of the great god or goddess. Per Amunet was also known as Per Mu. Through time, the female aspect has been reduced until no longer a part of their pseudo-spirituality. Per Amun was corrupted into Per Amun, Brahmin. It's known that our African stories were stolen, perverted, and applied to fictional characters by our enemies. Not only were our stories stolen and perverted, but also the names and titles were too. We must return to our indigenous culture, philosophies, ideas, and concepts to return to our true divinity. We must reject these false paradigms our oppressor have put in place for us. The Bible is an anti-African book, and all of the African tribes in the book are cursed. The tribes are Ham, Canaan, Egypt, Ethiopia, and Pum. Ham was cursed when he saw Noah naked and ridiculed him. He wasn't cursed directly. His son was cursed to be a servant of servants. Egypt and the plagues. Ethiopia was carried off in chains. Hezekiah commits complete genocide against a peaceable and quiet tribe. Noah's story is how they wash away the African history that came before them. At first, the Garden of Eden's in Ethiopia. When Noah's Ark comes to rest, he lands on Mount Ararat, which is in the Caucasus Minor Mountains, thus making all man and woman descendants of Europeans from the Caucasus Minor Mountains. Adam and Eve and the creation stories traditionally dated between 4065 BCE and up to 5764 BCE. Some extremists will try to date them at 120,000 up to 156,000 years old. Those that try to date fictional Adam and Eve at 120 up to 156,000 years old have no rebuttal for the earliest stone tools used during the lower Paleolithic period called Oduan or Aldawan. These tools date back to 2.6 million up to 1.7 million years ago. And the period is followed by the Akulian period. Evidence shows more advanced tools in African migration out to Asia, Middle East, and Europe between 1.5 million years ago to 800,000 years ago. A jawbone was found as dating back to 2.8 million years ago. A million-year-old artifact was found at the Kathu complex 
in South Africa, near Kathu in northern Cape Province. There's no way Adam and Eve existed at 120, 156, or 200,000 years ago when we have proof of Africans dating back 800,000 years older. For traditional Adam and Eve believers, 4065, 5764 BCE is just ridiculous. The second migration out of Africa is dated at 40,000 BCE. The world was populated by 10,000 BCE. There's a lunar calendar found in the Ashango bone, dated between 23,000 and 18,000 BCE. At 9,000 BCE, Niger-Congo tribes domesticated the oil palm. 8,000 BCE, we were shaping copper. We have many great teachers. Dr. Yosef Ben Jokanen, Dr. John Henry Clark, Dr. John Jackson, Dr. Ivan Van Sertimer, Dr. Sheikh Antigio, Dr. George G.M. James, Dr. Steve Coakley, Dr. Riketti Amin, Dr. Francis Cress Wilson, Dr. Chancellor Williams, Dr. Marcus Garvey, Dr. Malcolm X, Dr. Patrice Lumumba, Dr. Huey Newton, Dr. Claude Anderson, Dr. Amos Wilson, Dr. Kwame Torre, Dr. Ashra Kwesi. They've brought too much vital information to be ignorant in 2016 and beyond. The time is now, family. I go by Haru Bail Debt, Callie is Kemet, and we're the first dynasty. Peace and black power.